is going on with you all? Thank you for tapping into me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So welcome to the Fish Corner, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope everybody had a good week. The weekend is here. Weekend is here. So uh, speaking of being here, we are here at the 20-gallon saltwater aquarium, y'all. So if you missed the last couple videos, that's totally fine. You could always double back, take a look at them. You could take a look at how we set this thing up. And then just the one I posted earlier today is just me showing you how amazing this tank look. I mean, it is spectacular, y'all. So the next step I've mentioned time and time again, I set this thing up. Now it is day four. No, it's about day four. About day four on this. So Ida says day five. I say day four. We're going to go to day four. So set this up about four days ago water is clear i wanted to get to the point of this clarity before i added anything to this aquarium so we'll get some fish eventually but mainly we want to have corals inside this aquarium there's a couple of things that we got to do first i went and picked up some of this carib sea life rock right here so we have more real estate for our corals now i did go to our local fish store and picked up a couple corals sadly they did not have the zoas i really wanted zoas but now that we got the reef tank set up or you know coming into action coming into fruition we'll definitely get some zoas and we'll get them for the best price possible y'all so this bag of life rock i mean this box of life rock it's pretty pretty cool look all of those different stones is what you get now right now they have a sale Pressmore have a sale where if you buy one piece of aqua, you know, um, decor, aquascaping decor, whether it be the bag of life rock, whether you find some kind of fake decor, the second one is 50% off. So you could get you two of these boxes, that's like 50 bucks. You get the next one for 25 bucks. You can't beat that. So right now would be the time to go and take advantage and get you uh, some of this rock. Because they took the price off of that fake decor I bought. That's why it was only $19. That piece of decor was actually $44. $44.99. So they took off. You know, it went down. So yeah, I'll show y'all later what I got. I bought uh, some, some, some fake dragon stone. I should have probably thrown that away in the trash can. I'll get that later. But I bought some fake dragon stone. And uh, it just looked really cool. So I got it. And it was originally $44.99 with the 15 percent and uh the 50 percent off ended up being 19 dollars. i could not beat that i couldn't say no so we're gonna figure out where we want to put all these i got quite a few rocks though y'all that's that's crazy so what i'll do is i'll put them all right here and then we'll figure out where to put them in the tank sometimes the box don't come with a lot of small pieces they'll come with a few bigger ones i feel like Whatever comes in a box is pretty fair for a square. So, I like it. Look at that. Y'all hear that ring? I know Aida just did. She just made eye contact me, eye contact with me like, oh, shit. What is that? It sounds like the roof is coming in. But, yeah. So, yeah, look at all that. So, again, this is really good. Really good price. Really good price. Yeah, definitely. So it the, the purple tone makes you think about the uh, coralline algae that grows naturally on a rock. And that, that basically signifies that you have a healthy saltwater aquarium. So you can either get the base rock, which is white, or you get this really cool stuff that's purple. So I don't think that we'll end up needing more than this. What do you think, babe? You think we'll need more? Yeah, I didn't think so. So that's kind of like why I didn't get two boxes of it. I mean, it's only, it's only a 20-gallon aquarium, and we do want to have space for the fish to swim around. I just wanted to get some of this rock to make sure that we got some real estate for the corals to, uh, to be attached to. And as far as what I'm going to use to attach them, Gorilla Glue. When you get it, make sure it's the gel. Super glue gel, all of that, either one of those work, or if you want to use like the reef glue, coral glue, you could get that and use that as well. 
But um, this works. Matter of fact, you could go cheaper now. You can find some at the Dollar Tree. Long as it's gel, it'll work. So you're gonna see that firsthand. Already did. Windows got closed as soon as I went in there because the yeah. yeah, the rain was already coming through. All right, so let's see the placement, y'all. Look at that. Woo! Look at that purple. It's popping. Popping, popping. All right, we got a nice bigger one right here, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We got quite a few. Quite a few. And so we got to make sure we also take into consideration the the fish that we do plan on getting, the, the cleanup crew that we plan on getting. So I want to set this up in a way that's going to allow them to really do their thing. So caves for the for the shrimps and things like that. And like I said, we're going to have it. So I don't really glue the rocks. I know somebody's like, no, you got to glue them. If you situate them good, you don't have to glue them. Just like the other tank. Although these are smaller, so they're a lot lighter. But yeah, so we're just gonna put these in. Oh, that's a good placement. Yeah, well, not the one in the front. Not the one in the front. All right, so looking good. And then one of the reasons why I also don't like to glue them, because what if you want to move the rock around? It's a lot easier to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to put one in the front right here for the, matter of fact, for the star pilot. We'll also put one in the front for some zoas, because zoas also like to grow like crazy, just like that. And then maybe we'll put, How about over here? well, you don't really want to go too close to the glass so you could actually clean the glass good. That's right. Maybe I'll put the Duncan coral on, on that one. So Duncan coral, star pilot. Then they could swim through there and Go through there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for um, 40, how much was it? I'll look online. Originally it was 40, it was 49, but taking off that little 15%. All right. And it's just bubbling like that because you're just. Yeah, because it has air still inside of the rock. So as long as there's air trapped in the rock, oh, phone's down, y'all. So the air is trapped inside the rock. So now let's let's hurry and put a rush on things. At least we don't have to acclimate this like it's fish, but we will do a dip. So let me show you what we got. We got this um, mushroom right here. Hold on. It's trying to zoom in. Oh, that's pretty. And then we have this cool closed up Duncan and we will break off that, that little, uh, well, I could break the frag, I could break the frag off the plug entirely. That's probably what I'll do. I was thinking about cutting off the bottom of that, uh, the little post that's on the, yeah, the frag, but instead I might just take the whole, the whole Duncan off. All right, so I will dip them. What I use to dip my corals is that reef dip right there. So put these guys in a container. And this is just to make sure you don't have any, you don't introduce any hose or pest to your tank. 
Sometimes you never know with hitchhikers. All right, here we go. Although I like the little starfish one. Right. There's one. And they were inside the same tank, so don't worry about that. There are four. Dropping them in together. All right. All right, there we go. Okay, so here's the dip. We put five to 10 ml, one to two capsules and mix. Let the specimen sit in the dip for about 15 to 30 minutes. While it's sitting, we'll make sure we go and charge this phone. So this is red in color. One. Probably do one and a half since it says one to two. From the looks of things, it didn't look like it was any concern. Didn't see any aptasia in the tank. Didn't see any of those nuisance pests that I was talking about. But just to be safe and to show you the proper way of doing it, we'll go ahead and do it together this way. So we'll go ahead and uh, let these guys sit in this. Let them sit in here for about 15 minutes and then we'll be back. We'll attach them to some rocks. And uh, we'll go ahead and cut you guys loose. Back on. All right, y'all. So it's been about 15 minutes. Now it's time to add these corals to this tank. Now, while I was waiting. I did go ahead and order a couple more things for this aquarium. Like I said, process, progress. So, starting out, basics. I won't tell you what I ordered yet. Wait until it get here. I want you to see how easy this is. And then we'll start worrying about ordering new things. So, right here, this one is the Duncan. Hopefully, I could just, just like that, break it off the frag. Get this, uh... Get this gel going. That's okay, man. So I was going to put it way down there, but I do need to get a par reader. So uh, first, I might just put them on the top. So watch how this, watch how this works. There we go. Get a nice little bit of glue on there. And then when you find a spot for it, just set it on there. Just like that. You don't have right on top. No, it's already sitting, standing up. So it'll dry, it'll cure, and it'll stick just like that. Don't even have to hold it. Now let's get the other one. Here goes the mushrooms. And now these mushrooms, it's already on like a little piece of dead coral, which is pretty cool. So we don't really have to do too much. And I'll probably put these. Yeah, I, yeah, I sure do. Sure do. So hit it with the glue. And the mushroom spread as well. That's why I know where I said I was going to put things. But like I said, kind of just filling it out for now. I think if I like it and it spread, I would rather it be right down here in the front. Just like that. And then I'll even turn this, turn this around so we could actually oh, yeah. see go. it and enjoy it. Just like that. All right. So just like that. We got them in place. We'll see how they do. I do have. Careful, baby. I do have some of my chemicals on hand. 
we got the the liquid calcium right here we got some of that magnesium that i was telling you about we got some strontium and moly ben denim that's another one some of those essential elements we even got some iodine so believe it or not they certainly need all of these not on the same day so i have it written down this one is once a week tuesdays this one is once a week wednesdays this calcium i was treating every day magnesium i think this is every i follow the instructions on this one this is also once a week so this could be on either one of those days tuesdays or wednesdays and then this one also is every four days so um yeah it's important to make sure you have all of these and this isn't even all the ones that we need we need some more so a lot of times people do the auto dosing that means they have these tubes that's connected to these bottles and on a daily basis when they're supposed to be dosed you know automatically it automatically gets done so i don't think there's anything wrong with that especially if it's easier for you but you know we're doing this i've never had an auto dosing i don't plan on getting an auto dosing i like to know what's going in there how much is going in there and all that good stuff so that's where we are with things i will put i'll let these guys open up first you might not get to catch it on camera right now this one is actually starting to open up a little bit uh, that was a car accident right there all right so yeah the first two corals of this 20 gallon aquarium so we'll come back obviously this video is not going to get out today so we'll come back and then you'll get the chance to see these corals opened up and like i said we just hit up amazon we got a few more things, or really a couple more for this aquarium. Got a couple more things that will help the aquarium long term. It was very affordable, very fair. But uh, let's go ahead and end this joint. Let's go ahead and end this joint. We about to get on TikTok, y'all. So if y'all haven't already got over there to follow me on TikTok, you're snoozing and losing. We about to go live right now. So. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you learned something. Hope that you're inspired by something. You're going to stick around. I hope you stick around. You hope that you stick around because at the end of this joint, you're going to be able to see these guys open up probably tomorrow or by the end of the TikTok video. But if you like to kind of end the video and cut off it, cut it off sooner rather than later, then you missed out. You're going to have to wait for a whole nother video. But to those of y'all that's been sticking around to the end, we appreciate you all. Hopefully, I'm inspiring you in some type of way. Hopefully, you're feeling good. Hopefully, you've been entertained in some type of way. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. Peace. All right, y'all. So, we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the content. Help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel, Behind the Scenes. You get to see all the Behind the Scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.